that whole do -si do thing I could do without, you know. Are we all ready? Yeah, we're ready. Okay. Hey. Do we have different, like, <laughs> different feeding or something? Oh, a different, different sleep number? Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, you need your all coffee? Right. Yes, my coffee, please. Okay. What's the very first thing that you do when you wake up in the morning? Coffee. Really, really not speakable to without coffee. It's bad. What's your coffee order? Well, actually, we usually make one pot at the beginning of the week and then I nuke it every day because I'm really such a gourmet. Puppies or kittens? Both. We have a farm. We have two and two. How would you describe yourself? Maybe three words. Old, feisty, uh, and um, tenacious. What's the best advice you've ever gotten? The past doesn't equal the future. What's your favorite restaurant in the whole world? I still love Taillevant, old school, old school cheese tray. That's your order? Yeah, cheese and bread, of course. What was it like working and designing and planning LeBron James's wedding? Well, first of all, when they first called me, I thought he was a football player. That's how clever I am. Yeah, it was fun. LeBron's very cool and Vanna's great. How do you recharge? I have a little garden in Carroll Gardens, so I sit there and plot. If you could go back in time and during your first year of business, what advice would you give yourself? Run. What's your guilty pleasure? Probably fried food, french fries. What's the hardest thing you've ever had to do at an event or wedding? Evacuate a tent, you know, with 200 people and put them in a house that's large enough for 50 people. <laughs> Why? A tornado coming. What's your go-to da dance move? Twerking. Favorite movie with a wedding scene or? The Wedding Planner. What's your biggest pet peeve? People who don't know what they don't know. What's the most incredible venue you've ever worked at? Uh, probably the Sveti Stefan in Montenegro. How many other wedding pros do you have on speed dial? Oh God, a gazillion, because now everyone thinks I'm Yoda. Wedding tradition you hope never goes away? Paying for planners. How would you describe the weddings industry in three words? For the most part, ethical, compassionate, and body and soul into it. What's your best feature? Uh, you know, it changes every year. It's going to get harder and harder. Now it's the, from the knee down. <laughs> Cake or pie? Pie crust, actually. Wedding tradition you dislike? Oh, God, announcing the bridal party. Best place in the world to do a wedding? Someone's backyard where they have a ton of money and they're not worried about their property being destroyed. Favorite item of clothing in your closet? Oh, an Alexander McQueen jacket. Funniest thing you've ever seen at a wedding or event? A groom punched me once when I told him it was time to cut the cake. I mean, he didn't do much damage because I turned, but he was so drunk. I was like, it's time to cut the cake, and he went, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well, I won't say that again. How rude of me. What's the worst advice anyone's ever given you? The customer's always right. What's a wedding trend or idea that you don't uh, think will ever go out of style? God, there's so many things that I thought would go out of style by now. Yeah, I guess, you know, for better, for worse, a uh, signature cocktail. Favorite nonprofit? David Sheldrick, the Wildlife Trust for the Elephants. What would you be doing if not this? Oh God, anything. Playing tennis, learning French, writing my novel, um, anything. What's yeah. your motto? Living well is the best revenge. We're done. Okay, cool. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>